Ooh, what's up, Drew? How's it going, man? Hope you're having a great day. And to everyone else, I hope you're having a great day as well because today I'm checking out a band that I've done a couple times and it's Porcupine Tree uh, Anesthetize. Doing the live video and this was requested by Drew because I asked him to check out one of my favorite songs of the year which was Aviation's Outliers. He checked it out. It's an 11 minute track. It's uh, pretty time consuming. Holy shit, this is 17 minutes. <laughs> I just realized this is 17 minutes. Okay, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, man. Oh, man. Okay, well, I just opened up a beer, so I have enough time for this. All right, look, I don't want to waste any time because this is a long song. I know of Porcupine Tree. Um, I'm not a huge fan of them yet. I'm hoping that this song will sell me on the band. Here, I'm going to be here for 17 minutes, so let's see if it does the trick. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat, so let's fucking do it. 17 minutes, so buckle up, guys. We're in for a ride. Three, two, one. Loving the keyboard elements. It's not there for melody, but for atmosphere, which I think is cool. again.
got that Egyptian staring scale going on. I love Prog. You never know what to expect. Come on, give it to me. It's a very vibey track. I'm just noticing the two uh, guitars going back and forth between. It's interesting timing, yeah. Oh, damn that drum play. Seven tone change there. Be fun as hell on guitar, just saying. The dust in my soul makes me feel the weight in my legs, my head in the clouds, and I'm zoning out. I'm watching TV, but I find it hard to stay conscious. I'm so Interesting lyrics. That sounds pretty cool. That's what I mean. The keyboard is there to create sounds rather than playing melody. And I love it when a keyboard is there for that. I like how this is like a new chorus in the same song.
guitars and drums. Now the bass, there we go, see ya? I'm always a sucker for those swelling keyboard sounds. Gives everything a nice cinematic flair. Dream Theater up in here, okay. Damn. Drummer, you're a beast, bro. I was gonna say, that's not it, right? That 17 minutes flew by, but no, we got like five more. Cheers, Drew, thanks for the recommendation. I don't get enough prog rock on the channel. A lot of prog metal, but this is a nice change of pace. I hope I'm not screaming into the mic, you know? I can't hear myself when I'm talking. Apologize if I am.
stars that broke on the shoreline I could see you But I couldn't hear you You were holding your head in the breeze Turning away from me in this moment You were stolen This black across the sun Man, 17 minutes can fly back by pretty Thank fast. You so much. Thank you. Live in the Netherlands. Okay. Well, damn, okay. So. That was my favorite porcupine tree experience, and uh, my buddy Metal Bro, who's been on the channel before, has tried to show me some porcupine tree on her own time. I definitely appreciate who these guys are, but it, it comes down to preference because I'm a prog metal guy, and because of that, I like things to be a little bit more intense. Uh, time signatures where I can't figure out what's going on, things like that always keep me surprised. This is much more of a vibey kind of track and a vibey kind of band. Because of that, I have to just appreciate for what it is and step back from the prog metal way that I think. So this, I was totally vibing with it. It took until the, I would say chapter two, because I felt like the song was like three chapters. Uh, chapter two is when I started vibing with it, like actually, and like really feeling it. Because the first part, I'm like, damn, this is a 17 minute long song. Like I'm digging it. You know, for me, I, I I appreciate songs when I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And if I can't figure it out, I'm more, I tend to really like that because it makes me kind of understand like how the hell are they creating this music but if I can pick apart everything it makes me kind of just like okay like this is cool but eh. it was until the second uh, part of the song I'm just like damn okay you know things are picking up and stuff and um, also I like the structure in terms of just being things unpredictable like again I did feel like it was like three songs in one you know the verse chorus verse chorus some long extended bridge which could be like guitar solo or something vibey that led into like this big uh, led into the chorus again which would lead into the next chapter of the song so i thought that was a cool idea because you know for 17 minutes i did not know how the song was going to go but it felt like three songs in one uh Stephen wilson's vocals are are great i love his lyrics too there's uh something captivating about his lyrics and i like his lyrics how they they seem kind of literal too they're not so like obviously they're metaphorical but they're not so out there if you follow me so it seems like they're kind of relatable and it makes me kind of gravitate towards because i can relate to what the words that he's using a bit more than someone else who uses like i don't know a million dollar words that just sound smart but to me i'm just like uh whatever 
Yeah, and drumming was really a highlight, same with the keyboardist, because I really appreciated the keyboards when it's just not there to add melody, you know, not to harmonize the guitars, anything like that, but rather to evoke some sort of soundscape or atmosphere. And they, the keyboardist was all about that. The song was layered with atmosphere to give that vibey kind of feel throughout the whole thing, and I thought that was awesome. Bass work was great too, bass was audible at certain times. Uh, each member was great in their own way. But I definitely love the drumming and I love the keyboardists. Those were like actually the standouts for me in this song. And uh, I don't analyze lyrics or anything and I know the vocals are good. Um, on this channel I pay attention to musicianship and structure and all that stuff and that's what I liked here. Drumming, keyboards were awesome. I liked the structure too, felt like three songs in one. And that's why I thought this was a cool song. But yeah, thanks Drew for showing me my favorite Porcupine Tree song. Uh, 17 minutes long, I went through the whole thing, and it was absolutely no problem because I was totally vibing with it. But to my regular audience, or even to the newcomers who are checking this out, what did you think of this song? <laughs> Comment down below, spice up my life. I know the Porcupine Tree fans already know what they like, but if you're, if you're my regular kind of viewers, this is a new change of pace for the channel, what did you think? This is something different. Let me know in the comments, but to the Porcupine Tree fans, if you have other tracks from other bands that I should be checking out, uh, let me know. I'd love to be like going into a new realm here in prog rock, so let me know. But on that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.